liquidity risk is relatively low at Transcend. We have done exceptionally well in ensuring that we can continue to fund off our own balance sheet. As stated in the presentation, we have a standalone credit profile from S&P of triple B. And that's higher than the sovereign, and in fact, it's higher than most institutions that uh, are giving us money. And we're very proud of that. The other thing we're proud of is the fact that we haven't had a government guarantee since 1998, and we will continue not to ask for any government assistance. In fact, it's an untold story that Transnet doesn't take a cent from the fiscus. It funds off its own balance sheet and will continue to do so. So in terms of the funding, uh, we are expecting to raise 24.3 billion rand this year, made up of potentially a commercial paper of 3 billion rand, DFI, which is Development Finance Institutions, ECAs, as well as maybe potentially through the GMTN program, that's the global bond issuance, of about 11.3 billion rand, uh, bank loans of about 5 billion rand, and domestic bonds potentially 5 billion rand. But the beauty about our program is that we have a wide range and diversified sources of funding. In fact, our sources of funding total over 130 billion rand. We could tap into the GMTN market up to 60 billion rand if required. If the domestic bond market uh, is, is willing to buy, we could uh, tap in there to 35 billion rand. And there were some uh, recent auctions after the downgrade where there were news reports that highlighted that there wasn't much appetite. I can tell you that there was appetite, it's just that Transit didn't allocate at the prices that were provided. So Transit is not desperate for money. If it doesn't get uh, a spread that is in line with our requirements, we won't allocate money. But recently in certain commercial paper auctions, which are more short dated, um, we had over allocation. We were looking for 200 million rand and there were bids for 441 million rand. And the pricing was so good that we allocated 300 million rand. On a short uh, term point of view, we have adequate liquidity. Our cash on hand at year end was 6.4 billion rand. And we had available facilities within a 24 hour period of 16.3 billion rand meaning we have 22.7 billion rand available to settle short-term debt. Looking at committed facilities, we have 47 billion rand, made up of 29.5 billion rand from local institutions and 17.5 from foreign institutions. So we believe that we have adequate liquidity. But an interesting point, we just came back from a, a non-deal roadshow uh, overseas, and we found that there was significant demand offshore in the offshore market for emerging market assets, and in particular, transnet bonds. You've seen that over the last five years, we've had the highest inflow in emerging market bonds of over 45 billion rand. And although it's expected to tighten once the uh, US tightened their monetary policy, um, the international investors showed a lot of appetite for transnet bonds. So we do believe that there's ample uh, uh, sources of funding and that our liquidity position is solid.